Hello everyone, my name is Anna, I'm from Moscow, Russia, and uh, I do post-crossing. Uh, Fernando asked me to do this small interview, and uh, I'm very thankful for this opportunity. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, I will try to answer your questions as well as I can. Um, and uh, to everybody else, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, go subscribe to Fernando, he's very cool. And uh, yeah, let's get started with it, shall we? Well, let me tell you, the first time I heard about post crossing was approximately one year ago, maybe a little bit more. Uh, when I stumbled upon a post uh, in my one of my favorite bloggers journal, uh, she was talking about this new activity she discovered, and that was well actually post crossing. She uh, wrote that she had the most amazing experience with it. She received postcards, she sent postcards, and uh, it was so fun to go and buy the postcards, to then send them, to write some warm words and to meet the people's expectations and then somebody uh, makes the same thing uh, only uh, directed to you. So, cool! And I thought, wow, that's, that's a very nice way to communicate because I'm personally quite shy, so I'm not the one who goes out on the internet and searches for friends uh, but I always uh, want to find out more of how people live, and especially how people live in different countries abroad. Well, my first postcard received was uh, actually this one. Uh, this one is from Germany. It is depicting Schwarzwald. And uh, I received it, let me see when, I received it actually uh, on the 5th of March 2019, which is uh, a little bit than a year ago. Fascinating. Uh, it was a fun one to receive and I was very excited to get it because that's as... actually that was the first one and... Uh, uh, I was like, yeah, finally! I was worried because I got into post crossing, what, in February or something, and it's been a month, and I was like, what if something went wrong? I'm always anxious about these things. But yeah, here we are. The first one got to me, and uh, the second one followed, and uh, so it goes for now. I love receiving postcards, and I love checking my mailbox. Uh, the third question. My favorite postcard is actually this one. Uh, the funny thing is that this postcard is actually from Germany too. <laughs> I actually do receive a lot of postcards from Germany and that's fascinating. Um, so, this postcard depicts a painting of Paul Signac. It's a French painter of the style of Impressionism. And I love Impressionism, personally, and uh, this one was so good to receive, because one, it's one of my favorite, favorite styles in uh, art, and second, it's uh, so good color-wise. These are basically my favorite colors, and I don't know if the video depicts them, probably it doesn't. But, uh, you can Google uh, the card, it's called the... Bonaventure pine, so uh, it's a pine and it's a small, small, small shape in here. Uh, go look it online. Uh, it's 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 amazing. <laughs> it's amazing and wonderful, and I love it so much. Like yeah, uh, from the time I saw uh, Signac's painting, this one, uh, which is the harbor in Marseille in Hermitage. I thought, yeah, this guy is so cool. I should get more of him. And I got! Yay! My favorite part of the post-crossing process is probably 
when I have to pick the cards which I'm then going to send uh, because it's sometimes quite a quest to do so uh, you see sometimes uh, when I click send the postcard and uh, I receive some requests and wishes I'm like yes yeah 100% I have exactly what you need in my box of postcards like wait no time I will send it to you but sometimes people uh, ask for things that are really not that common and uh, really not that easy to find and then it actually is a fun quest to find them uh, so um, yeah and uh, then I have to go to a shop order some cards online or maybe even uh, if I travel and people sometimes ask for vintage cards I go to an antique shop and uh, search for antique cards from this exact place where I reside right now uh, and it's so fun and so fascinating when I get to find the right one and uh, the joy of understanding that yes you did it you found it is uh, unexplicable <laughs> and uh, this is why I uh, probably do post crossing because when I get to fulfill the wish of a person who makes it, uh, the feeling is incredible. So I will 100% take a picture of my mailbox and I would put it somewhere here? No, probably here. Probably here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's basically how mailboxes look like in Russia. They uh, are situated, um, basically, if we are talking about a block of flats, they are situated uh, in the ground floor. So yes, and about where I keep my cards in general, uh, this is where I keep my actual cards, which I already received. Uh, well, this monstrosity of an elbow yeah it's like this it's very big uh i got it online when i got it i uh was sold by this way to store the cards inside you see these cool 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 ribbons yeah well that's the way i actually uh, thought was the best way to uh store the cards in my possession which i received and uh, yeah, it's actually quite quite useful and quite functional, but the problem with this thing is, well, yeah, it's very big, I already said that, and it hardly fits anywhere in my room. Um, it's not really comfortable to hold it, because if you want to sit with your cards and admire them, uh, well, it's this thing is big, this thing is big. It's actually quite fragile also, it's made of some ecologically approved materials, I believe, and uh, they are, eh, yeah, not, I mean, they, they are cool and all, and fancy. Right, and uh, where I keep my cards, which I am about to send, is right here. This is a box, it's like this. It stored tea, originally, but uh, when the tea went out, I thought this box is quite useful for postcards, and uh, that it is. Um, it's quite spacious, it's not that heavy, but it's metallic, and uh, it has all I need inside. It has some glue, so that I can put stamps on the postcards, because in Russia not all the stamps stick by themselves. So, this is, uh, well, that's the, the way I presume. Uh, I have some stamps actually here, a little bit messy, but functional, this file works so right. I really need to get more of those. I'm running loan stamps, and the rest of it is postcards, and uh, it's quite fun because it's a lot of them. Oh yes, and there is also stickers, of course. So I come to like stickers. I don't use them a lot, <laughs> but sometimes it's nice to uh, put something on the other side of a postcard when you don't actually fully get the person's wish on it. Yeah, 
so I believe that's everything I have for you guys. Uh, please subscribe to Fernando's channel. And uh, happy post-crossing to all of you. Goodbye. Greetings from Moscow, Russia.